in 2018 and past, the Ingolstadt control specialists will additionally grow the Audi Sport Extend and update the division. From what we know today, there will be no trade for the moderate offering R8, which will be eliminated in 2020 when the new Lamborghini Huracan arrives. Likewise dead, the proposed zero outflow R8 e-tron and the Scorpion Supercar are controlled by a 1000 horsepower V8 gloating a dismodromic valve train made from four 1.2 liter Ducati bike motors. Be that as it may, throughout the following a few years, hope to consider business to be common from Audi Sport. We have quite recently observed the new back-wheel drive R8, and we won't need to sit tight yearn for the cutting-edge S-RS6, S-RS7, and S8. The inevitable RS4 and RS5 utilize another 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6 that makes 450 horsepower. Despite the fact that this is a shiny new motor, 470 horsepower gives off an impression of being its greatest potential. A FEV version tosses in a 85 kilowatt C engine for good measure, however now it isn't booked for the RS models. To the extent the RS6 and RS7 are concerned, Audi will stay with the pervasive 4.0-liter V8 that covers a wide 500 to 650 horsepower section. Up until now, there is no sportive 8 half and half in progress. At the highest point of the lineup will be the RSQ8. 2020, which shares its 650 horsepower V8 with the Lamborghini Rus. The Q8 is a sleeker car subsidiary of the thick Q7. To wrap things up, Audi has an amazement up its sleeve in the state of Venture J1. Porsche initially picked the J1 moniker for the all electric Mission E, see page 56, due in mid 2019. Audi soon thereafter plans to include its own particular form of the exhaust cloud-free full estimate for entryway roadster. Consider it a five-seater Audi Quattro, and you're nearly there. In spite of the fact that Audi Sport will deal with its piece of the joint wander, the designing idea is as of now solidified. The key differentiators will then be, inside reason, an upgraded body and an inside one of a kind to the brand.